Oh, whoa, oh, what's going on, everybody? What's going on, guys? Um, just getting to work, actually running a little late. So, y'all know, uh, what is it? The day the 30th, getting close to the end of the month, man. We're trying to close, we got to close out all our big tickets. And as you can see, this is a this is a big one. Well, big as in uh, on paper, money wise. Okay. Um, what is that? That's a that's a nine speed transmission, y'all. Um, get ready to install that. I had to replace that. This car is a 2014 uh, Cherokee, uh, Jeep Cherokee Latitude. Okay, and that's the um, 2014. That's the first year they came out. Um, yeah, that's the first year that that Jeep came out. 2014 Jeep Latitude came out in 2014. Yeah, yes. 2014. Okay, and it was equipped with the nine speed, nine speed automatic. Uh, actually, most of all of Chrysler cars after 2014 got a transmission reboot. Okay, most of them, uh, the rear wheel drives got the new eight speed transmission, and the front wheel drive, pretty much all those got the um, the nine speed transmission. Okay, notice the trend here. More gears. Remember past post 2014, it was using a six speed. And in the caravans, they still use the six speed uh automatic transmission, the 62 TE. So that part haven't changed. It, that caravan is still running up to, here. We in 2020, they still making 2020 Dodge Caravan. So that one is still on the loose, but the newer stuff, as in the Chrysler Pacifica. They're going to be all equipped with a nine speed, the same transmission. Okay, now I guess you would ask, man, I don't see no things. I must not have this on public. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll just upload it later. But uh, you're probably wondering why I'm replacing it. Uh, it has some problems, some uh, shifting issues. Now, y'all know uh, servicing, servicing needs is extremely hard to do. Depending on your definition of service, I talked about this before. If your definition of a transmission service is to drain the fluid and the filter, then no, it will be extremely hard for you to do that, at least the part about the filter, because the filter is inside the case. You have to drop the transmission to do the filter. And I don't know of anybody that's willing to take their transmission out just to replace the filter. Okay. In fact, here's a special tool we use to check the fluid. So, uh, I don't know of anybody that's, uh, I don't know who this is. I don't know of anybody that's willing to take their chance. In fact, I got a transmission. I got a nine speed over here on the table. I'm going to tear that apart and show y'all exactly what that filter is when I get some time. I'm going to film that and show y'all what a filter is on that nine speed transmission. But I am replacing this one because of uh, some harsh shifting issues. Again, this is a was a 2014 model. It's the first year production, and they had a lot of problems out of those. I'm not gonna sit here and lie; they didn't, but they did. They got a handle on them now. It was nine speed transmissions out now. I haven't had any problems. Much most of the little problems I had out of them are petty, uh, as in simple stuff can get them back up and going, such as a computerized flash update. They all have an update available. So if you have never had your transmission flash update you got to get it done you uh you have to get that done you have to get that uh that uh uh flash update done because <laughs> It controls a lot of uh, shift improvement, shift strategy changes, a lot of things change. Now, if you do all of that, or if you do your flash update, uh, keep in mind that the fluid, they say, is full for life, feel for life. So you shouldn't have to replace the fluid. They don't recommend you service it during the life of the transmission. Now, I'm, not, I'm at a dealership, so I'm not going to badmouth that particular uh, suggestion. I'll talk about that off screen, but... Uh, I have a difference of opinion on that. I'm sure y'all heard me say that before. But as far as feel for life, y'all know how I feel about that. But anyway, it's up to you if you do it or not. Uh, I highly recommend you don't 
especially if you're still under warranty, because you could uh, get yourself in some trouble if the fluid is not right. Uh, and the shop that's doing it, that's planned on doing it under warranty can get in trouble. So you're going to be faced with a lot of problems if you change your fluid and then have transmission problems. So I highly suggest against that. But uh, if you've gotten your nine speed uh, transmission flash update and you still have problems, uh, it's another repair we're allowed to do that pretty much addresses most shifting concerns with this transmission. That's the valve body. Uh, yeah, the valve body. Okay, I've done a couple of valve body on these, and uh, after that, pearls like a kitten. Y'all know the job of a valve body is to direct fluid to different locations, different ports, uh, when deemed necessary to allow for proper shifting. We had some problems with the valve body. Other than that, if you still have transmission issue, then of course, you know, you should by the end you should have a generated a fault code which will lead the mechanic. Uh, to determine if you need a unit or not. There's only a couple of fault codes that would trigger replacement of this nine speed transmission. Okay. So in most shop you that fault code has to be generated before they can do that. Okay. So but for the most part, the transmission made a steel, man. Look, it even come with a uh, can y'all see this? It even comes with a brand new uh uh TCM. That's a brand new TCM, which which brings up a topic. Uh, I ain't sure most shops can do that because if you replace the transmission, you're going to get a new TCM, which means that TCM has to be programmed. So the aftermarket shops, if you have no way to program the TCM, uh, you're going to have to um, um, you got to send that sh uh, truck to the shop to a dealership. Ain't no way around it. Uh, now, the dealership would be able to do it, but I guess you can R&R &R it and then ship it away. But for the most part, you got to have your scan tool got to be able to program this stuff uh, in order for you to be successful at even replacing it. <laughs> because, like I say, you're going to be shut down. You can't just install. It's not a plug and play. You can't just install this transmission and go drive out, drive out. It doesn't work like that. All right. Um uh, let me see. There's something else I want to bring up. Warranty. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's three year, hundred thousand. I'm not sure what the warranty on it. When I find out, I'm gonna put it in the description. Like I said, I don't see any comments on the side, so I assume I left. It's not on public, but that's okay. I'm gonna air it anyway. Uh, what's something else I want to talk about? Okay, three things if you uh, flash update, uh, valve body, and a unit. As far as fluid go, I personally would do change my fluid after the warranty expired. Now, you can do it before then. Just but here's the thing, guys. You got to make sure you're going back in with the correct fluid. Do I have some laying around? I want to show y'all some old type. Okay, I can't find that. I guess I use all mine, but I want to show y'all that it's not. It just says eight nine speed transmission fluid. It is essentially important, important that you go back in with the proper fluid if you're gonna if you're gonna change it anyway. If you're gonna do your own service, because uh to drain it, to drain the fluid is fairly easy. Uh, it's a drain plug on it, so you let it out, and uh um. Go back in with uh go back in with new fluid. Okay, so I gotta get to work, guys. Um, like I say, I have the two here, and we'll have to. I will have to uh, verify that it's full. I think they come full, but I will have to verify. Now I gotta. I'm gonna have a video out on the procedure to check the fluid, but really, there's no need to check it. I guess unless you, I guess unless you have a leak. Okay, unless you can physically see a leak, there's really no need to uh, check your fluid. I mean, so it's up to you, but um, some people like to know how. 
to go by checking their transmission fluid on the nine speed transmission. I will show y'all that on a separate video. All right, like I say, uh, it's the end of the month, so I gotta get this thing replaced. I just got here, I'm a little late. Uh, now what's the day? Today, Thursday. Normally, I would do tech talk Thursday, 3T. I'm about to call my buddy Caper. And see if he want to tag team a video with me at uh uh Sunday. So I might postpone the uh tech talk Thursday till Sunday. I want to give more information on that uh oil consumption problem for having and I want to discuss the oil consumption issues that uh Dodge having. So I'm gonna postpone tech talk Thursday to Sunday. Let me let me see if I can get a hold of Caper and see if we can do a uh one of those dual dual things yeah I, I had to wait until i get some better internet uh, the internet i have seemed to be holding up now i don't know why but so y'all stay tuned for sunday i'm gonna try to uh team up with my buddy uh for this guy's garage in fact go check him out go ahead on and uh subscribe to his channel so y'all won't miss that uh duo because we're gonna be on his on his uh channel so y'all go go ahead on over there this guy's garage uh for i am caper this guy's garage put that in the search bar and go over there and go ahead and subscribe to his channel and uh hit the notification bell so you won't miss the the talk i haven't even confirmed it yet but i'm sure you don't have a problem with it but i'm gonna contact him now and see if he's willing to do that i want to talk more on that oil consumption problem and even the problems we have because dodge have a, some oil consumption problems too and i don't want to be in here talking about dodge so i would be at my spot he would be at his spot we will tag team the conversation we would love for you guys to join us so uh that's what's going on with tech talk thursday uh january the 30th okay we're gonna move it to sunday i don't know sunday evening let me get with caper and find out what's a good time because he's in a different totally different time zone than i am so we'll find out we'll let y'all know go ahead over there now like i say this guy's garage subscribe to his channel so you won't miss the, the conversation and uh i got work to do guys so oh. still on <laughs> all right let me shut this down y'all know i can't record in here with y'all why y'all didn't tell me this thing was still running all right um yes i gotta go um uh, what's my outro thanks for watching comment subscribe i got work to do let me put this training in and i'll see y'all in the next video guys i appreciate you tuning in